Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Windows Previous Versions feature. Uh, so this is a feature that's in most of the Windows clients uh, operating systems these days. Um, not sure when it launched, but it's definitely in Windows 7 and higher. Um, this feature actually works in conjunction with the Snapshots feature on a QNAP, if you enable it. Um, so one thing I'll go through is just how to set up the NAS so that it will work with this feature. So first of all, we're going to go to the storage and snapshots. And you need to have the snapshots enabled on any shares or volumes that you have. Um, for this particular example, I'm using a QUTS Hero NAS. So this is a TVS-H1288X. But it's largely the exact same setup whether you're using one of our QTS-based NAS or QUTS Heroes. Um, so here I'm looking at the public share, and with the public share, I've got snapshots enabled on it. If I click on the uh, snapshots icon there, we'll see the schedule that I've got set here. Uh, so pretty much since yesterday afternoon at uh, 3.22 is when I enabled the snapshots. Um, I have these set to happen um, every hour at the half hour mark. Um, I've got the snapshots to be kept for four weeks. That's the uh, snapshot retention that I've set. Uh, you can see that over here. You can set different options if you wish to whatever circumstances you want. Um, but this has to be enabled and you have to have some snapshots um, available uh, for the previous versions to work. Um, so all the snapshots that we see here for, the, for today and for yesterday, these are all the uh, previous versions or the restore points that we're going to see uh, when we switch over to Windows to illustrate um, what you can back up and from where. Um, so I've got these set up right now on this one. So that's all set up. That's sort of part one dealt with. Uh, the next part is to click the cog at the top right corner and then go to the snapshot tab on the left. And you have to have Windows previous versions enabled down there. There's a little pull out there. It gives you some information about what it's doing. So it's effectively using the snapshots uh, to activate, uh, activate this feature. Um, so once you've done that, another place you can check is also in the control panel under the privilege menu and go to shared folders. If you go to the properties of the share that you're using the snapshots on and that you want previous versions to be enabled on, if you click properties, there's a tick box there as well. This must be ticked for it to work. So enable Windows previous versions must be ticked. And this is a per share setting. Um, so even if you've got snapshots happening on a share, if you don't have this tick box ticked, uh, the feature will not be activated for Windows to see it. So once you've got those um, three things, so snapshots enabled with a schedule set, um, the previous versions is enabled in the snapshots and uh, storage manager, and also for the share itself. After you've done that, you can switch over to Windows. So here I've got a copy of Windows. Um, so what I've got here is I've got a map network drive to that public share. Um, I've just called it the Q drive uh, on the TVS-H1288X. So if I go inside here, I have a little bit of data in here just to illustrate. Um, if I right click in the folder and go to properties, I now have a previous versions tab that wouldn't be there if I didn't have those tick boxes ticked for previous versions. So when I click in here, we see all the same date and timestamps that we saw in the snapshot manager over on the QNAP. So I can go back to any point in time of this folder and see uh, a file of a, of a different type. Uh, state of the folder, for example. So here I've got a few files. So for example, if I was to delete these uh, three Plex media server files from my uh, directory here, so I'll delete them. Um, are you sure you want to permanently delete them? I'm going to say yes. This is not going to any network recycle bins, the local recycle bin um, within the OS. You know, it's still empty over there. Um, those files are gone. I can click refresh. Those files are definitely not available there. Um, but if I right click and go to properties within this share and then go to the previous versions tab, I can really pick any um, uh, uh, snapshot or version uh, that I want from the past. So if I go to say 6.30 a.m. this morning, double click that, it's going to open up a new directory of that folder um, that's basically the same as this one. But this snapshot was taken when those three Plex media server files were there. So if I was to grab all three of those, um, I can just drag them back into the folder. So those files are now back inside that main folder. And it's very quick to do this. So if you were to delete a, a larger file, so I've got a file here that's a bit bigger. This one's about one gig in size. Uh, so if I was to go to this one and delete that file, definitely going to be deleted. Just to confirm, we'll click refresh. It's definitely not there. 
Um, so if I wanted to restore a previous version of that file, I just go to Properties, Previous Versions, go to any of the past ones, so even the most recent one at 11.30 would work. Double click that, pull it off to the side. <clears throat> I can see the Zavix appliance is there and I can just pull it back in. And the file's going to be back pretty much instantly. So it's coming back from the storage. It's not being restored across the network. Uh, these are effectively being put back into the live viewable storage area of your share um, from within the storage pool on the NAS. Um, other ways to interact with previous versions is if you wanted to look at, say, a folder. So I've got a screenshots folder there, for example. So on that screenshots folder, I can right click on it. And then you've also got a restore previous versions option there. And you can restore the entire whole folder if you want to. Um, or you can restore within the folder so you can double click inside it to restore something else if you wanted to as well. Uh, so this is great for um, IT admins if you've got a lot of users on your network and find that um, a big part of your job is perhaps restoring things like accidental mistakes. Somebody's edited a file in a way they shouldn't have accidentally deleted a file. Uh, you can put the option to recover the files uh, back on the users so you don't have to go into uh, the QNAP interface and restore a file from the snapshot manager. You can just let your users, if they're running Windows, um, you can let them just right click on the folder and interact with the snapshots directly. If they've got permissions to do read and write within the share, that means they can pull the files back themselves as well um, or restore a version of a file to one that's a bit older as well if they wanted to. Um, so that's um, the Windows previous versions feature. It's built into all the QNAPs that can run snapshots. Um, so if you do want to have this feature again, just to summarize, just make sure that you do have Windows previous versions enabled on both the share and in the storage manager, and also make sure you've got some snapshots set up. It's best to have it on a schedule. Um, the more snapshots you set, um, the more granularity you've got, more restore points that you're going to have. Um, so that if somebody does make a mistake, worst case, you would only lose perhaps 30 minutes of data, or an hour of data, depends how often you set those snapshots for. Um, and again, to interact with them, all you've got to do is browse to the network location, right click on the folder, go to properties, and you've got the previous versions tab there at the top so that you can interact uh, directly with the snapshots. Uh, you wouldn't have to give your users any access into the QNAP web interface uh, for them to be able to restore their own files, folders, uh, different versions of files if they wanted to. Okay, thanks a lot. If you've got any questions, please do let us know. We're pretty quick at responding. Um, if you've got suggestions for any other videos, uh, please leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks a lot.